hi guys we are live this is awesome i just knocked over my little um phone though so we are in a little bit of a rickety situation <laughs> anyway hopefully a few of you will be able to hop on here i let you know on snapchat that i'd be coming on to say hi to you guys um how are you i am back from ireland it was an amazing trip you guys it was amazing i was there for a week with my mom and sister it was a little girls trip and it was so awesome it was hard to come home my jet lag was so real and we kept saying that the entire time jet lag is real jet lag is real oh good there's some people watching i'm so happy it was awesome and if um i have lipstick on my teeth i'm sorry i always do this i do something very risky and I'm live, not very smart. Hi from Texas, hello. I just dropped off Blake at preschool and um, we've got like an hour. So, oh, how was the food? Okay, I'm just gonna start answering some questions as I see them. The food was not really my thing. <laughs> it was potatoes, um, lots of potatoes, like cabbage and meat so much meat. Here's what an Irish breakfast consists of. Ham, bacon, sausage, blood pudding, which really does have blood in it, an egg, <laughs> and beans. <laughs> I didn't eat it. I couldn't. Oh, guys, I'm so stressed about this lipstick. Um, oh, no, some people don't see me. That is a problem. I am so sorry. Hi from California you're a meat and potatoes kind of girl, then you would love it. They had a lot of like stews, a lot of hearty, like warm foods. It was actually kind of hard to get like a salad. Like I found myself craving a salad so bad. Hi from New Hampshire. Hi, Megan. Anyway, I didn't eat a lot of vegetables there besides the potatoes <laughs> and the cabbage. It was really hard. And there is a, oh, thank you. You love my haircut. Yes, I chopped it off. And you know what? I think I'm gonna go even shorter next time because I just have been loving it. I keep going on um, Pinterest and pinning different pictures. I think I'm actually gonna go more blonde too next time, which would be really fun. Um, I didn't have any beer. I don't drink alcohol, but the nightlife there is so awesome. Like it was incredible. They did have a pub on every street corner i feel like every other shop almost was a pub there were so many but it was not like a bar it was definitely more family friendly like i didn't see people there like hitting on each other it was different it was good live music food good food like i did have some ravioli there it was so good thank you guys i'm here talking about my lipstick this is um Yep, sounds like a traditional Irish breakfast. You're from the UK. Yeah, I didn't eat it. It was too much meat for me. But um, yeah, it was really cool to see how different it was. This is Wednesday by ColourPop. So that's what I have. And then I have, oh, I'll show you what I've got. Hold on, guys. I'm going to check and see what this lip gloss is that I popped on over it. Hi from India. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Thank you for watching. Okay. So I have on, here's my little ColourPop caddy. I keep some of my lippies in here. A lot of these are um, really drying though, I feel like, and so I don't wear them all the time. I have to get one. Ooh, a pixie cut would be cute. It would be fun, it's something different. Um, I haven't tried a ton of their matte products just because I think they're drying on me. But this is Wednesday, this is what I've got on. Hi from Miss Michigan. Oh, you're so sweet, I'm glad I'm back. I'm excited, I wasn't really sure how to come back. I thought a live video would be perfect though. Just be authentic, <laughs> say hello. So that's what we're doing. This is the NYX Butter Gloss. Ew, I need to get a new one, it's like separating. That means it's time. This is in Eclair, so that's what I've got on today. Still smells good. Still smells like a vanilla cupcake, but that is the concoction. So whenever I wear one of these um, matte lippies, lip, um, liquid lipsticks, I always pop on a gloss because I can't handle that tight feeling on my lips. Um, hi from Vermont and welcome back. Thank you so much. I think the next girls trip we're gonna do is um, gonna be Washington, DC, but we'll see. I actually was over there with my sister because she goes to school at the University of Limerick and 
she doesn't want to come back, which breaks my heart, to be honest. But I can see why the people there were so incredibly friendly, so incredibly aware of, of you. You know what I mean? Like I told my mom, we were having a little, this is a drink that we, <laughs> we really loved over there. It was sparkling water and black currant syrup. So that's one thing that we ordered a ton and my sister um, told me about it. But um, I told my mom this and I feel like this was true. I feel like the Irish people in general cared a lot more about you, the people, than they did about what they were doing. And I feel like in America, don't be offended guys, in America, I feel like in general, people care a little more about what they're doing than they do about the people around them. Does that make sense? And maybe that's just where I live. I live in Utah and I see that a lot. People just not aware of you, aware of their surroundings. They'll like back up their car and you're literally standing right there. Like they're not looking. I feel like that wouldn't happen as often in Ireland. Oh good, Jackie, you agree with me. I, I get nervous saying this because this does not hold true for everyone. Of course, I'm stereotyping and I really hate to do that sometimes, but I really feel like in general, that is my experience and that's true. Um, people are on their phones here. People are not on their phones in Ireland like they are like walking down the street. <laughs> you walk down the street and you will get five friendly hello ladies. Like that does not happen. I, I was walking down this little path. We were having a little morning stroll. It was amazing. The birds were out. It was like the forest. So we're walking down this little path. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. And this darling older gentleman was on his cell phone. Okay. So he's talking and he's walking and we cross paths. This is what he does. He says, mm, I'm not going to try the accent. I'll ruin it. But he says, um, good morning, ladies. And then on the phone, he talks into his phone. We can hear him. He's walked past us and he says, oh, I just said hello to three beautiful ladies. What? Like they're so friendly and it's not like flirty. It's just friendly. And the women are like this too. Good morning, love. Hello, love. Good morning, lovely guys. This is how we're meant to live. I feel like, <laughs> like this is, yes, um, Evangelina, it is so sweet. I feel like the people there just have the sweetest demeanor and they're so kind, they're so aware, they're so open to talk with you and they really do visit with you. They will stop you on a street corner and ask you how your day's going. If you look confused, <laughs> they will run up and ask you if you need help. These aren't workers. This is not like a city worker. This is just a person passing by. It's amazing. Um, it was an incredible experience. I really want to go back. In fact, I think I'm just going to always have a little Ireland fund so that I can just be saving because if my sister doesn't come back, which I don't think she's planning on, um, I want to be able to visit her like once a year. So anyway, it was awesome. I loved it. I think I brought back 25 pounds of candy. <laughs> Guys, I've been off of sugar for like three months and I decided, you know what, this is potentially a once in a lifetime opportunity and I am going to regret it if I go over there and I don't like enjoy the food and chocolate like is so good. So I went there, I ate food, I ate sweets. It was delicious, um, especially the sweets. There is a sweet shop, a pub and a toy store on every street. <laughs> it was like amazing. I thought my kids would love this. Be hard to take them over there on the plane though, but it was delicious. So I brought back tons of chocolate. I was actually worried that I was going to be overweight when I got my bag up there because of the candy, but it's been so good. I've been sharing it with friends. Anyway, I wanted to show you a couple little things that I got. This is one of my favorite little things from like Europe. I hear people say this on YouTube <laughs> you get pounds of candy back to oh I totally understand it's like all I cared about <laughs> like go into a shop what kind of chocolates do they have I know that's so embarrassing but that's the truth <laughs> that's what I did anyway Bits and Bobs have you guys heard Zoella say this that's a channel I just love a lifestyle channel and she'll say I went into I went into Primark and I picked up some Bits and Bobs I'm like what is this Bits and Bobs it's adorable it's just like little we don't have anything like this. Like no saying is as adorable as bits and bobs. It's 
like little things, little items, little trinkets. We don't have anything so cute. So I found this little tin and I had to get it. And I don't know, what should I store in here? I haven't really decided what to put in here yet. I thought bits and bobs <laughs> could be anything. So I'm not sure I might put little hair ties in here. Um, might put my memory cards in here for filming, but let me know if you have any ideas. What can I put in my bits and bobs tin? So I grabbed that and then I did go into Inglot. Um, nice little box. Um, what an amazing experience. Uh, Ruby chocolate, but it's pink chocolate called Ruby chocolate. I have never heard of that before. It sounds really beautiful and really yummy. Okay, so I went um, in to Inglot, which is an amazing brand. Very, very hard. Um, oh, box tops. Put your box tops in there for the kids for school. Um, candy. <laughs> Put candy in it and carry it around with me. That would be so fun. It is adorable. You guys, I am sweating. This is one thing. I went to Ireland. It was like 50s and 60s. I was bundled up the whole time. I hope you followed me on Snapchat. I actually was planning on vlogging when I went over there and my, my camera wasn't working. My card pooped out. It was horrible timing. So I just snapped the whole trip. Were any of you with me on Snapchat? I really hope some of you were able to be there with me and I couldn't like get on my channel and be like, guys, my camera's not working. My card's not working. Follow me. I just had to hope that <laughs> some of you were able to follow me. Hello everyone, plan with me. Do you have a planner channel? Like planning? Because I've been so into that lately. I'd love to follow you if you do. Let me know. Anyway, I went into Inglot and I picked up the shades 301. They're just numbers, guys, which is like a gorgeous burgundy. I haven't even opened these yet. I'm gonna have to put them in a little um I have to put them in a little Z palette. Uh, cleaning and mommy and lifestyle. Yahoo! Ashley, you were there with me on Snap. I'm so happy. That makes me so happy because I snapped every single day. It was a lot of fun. Look at this burgundy color. Isn't that beautiful? Hi, Evan. Hi, Hi sweetheart. Mommy's doing a live video. What are you doing? I'm studying. <laughs> you gonna say hello? Yeah. Okay, you can say hi for just a minute hi. and then mommy's gonna finish. All right, darling. He wasn't feeling very well today, so he stayed home from school. Can you go wash your little face off? Yes. Okay. Thank you for coming to say hi. You feeling all right? Yeah, I'm feeling bad still. But... Feeling bad? Oh, sweetie. Okay. Why don't you go have a little rest and mommy will come get you some. Do you want to get some water, some orange juice? Oh, people are saying feel better. Sorry, baby. He hasn't been too well today. He's just got like a little runny nose. Poor little guy. So he stayed home. I feel so bad. Um, anyway, uh, in what? And I was saying, oh, the weather. I totally got sidetracked. But the weather was so good there. It was really, um, it was really cold. <laughs> like my favorite weather. Very chilly, very overcast. I was bundled up the whole time. Sweaters, scarves, all of that. And um, I came home to 95 degree weather. So I have been like shocked. Like, what is this? I've been sweating. I've been trying to get in the fall spirit. I have all these fall videos planned for my channel, but I'm having such a hard time when I'm literally running the AC and sweating my brains out. So it's been very hot. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. I'm just sweating. Anyway, can't wait for fall though, you guys. Um, yes to cooler fall weather. Candles, tea, hot chocolate, scarves, boots. Guys, I love the fall so much. In fact, what are some fall related videos that you would like to see from me? I have, um, shoot, I don't have my planner in here with me, but I did some planning over the past couple days and I wanted to do like a get ready with me for fall where I show you like hair, like maybe how I've been styling my hair and makeup. And then I wanted to show you some like maybe fall updates. Um, oh, a singing video. I do have one coming. Uh, I don't want to say too much about it, but it's going to be over the holidays, autumn clothes and fashion. Fall is my favorite season too. Yep. I'll be doing a hairstyle. Okay. Decorating maybe for TJ Maxx and value store finds. So maybe like Hobby Lobby. I feel like they have really good deals and home goods. Um, home decor, DIY projects. Guys, you're giving me a lot of good ideas. In fact, most of these are ones that I've written down already that I wanted to do, like a fall shop with me. Scarf collection. 
what a good idea. I have a lot of scarves. I actually probably have 20 scarves. I have enough to do a video on, <laughs> enough to do a video just about scarves. Maybe I could show you how I tie them. That would be really cute. But I wanted to do a favorite fall recipes. Is that something you guys would watch? I follow Rachel Talbot. I've been following her for years and years and years. Halloween and Thanksgiving. I was thinking about doing like a little Halloween haul, like maybe from the dollar spot at Target and the dollar store. Because I love shopping there for my like decor, my seasonal decor. Um, Because I like to switch it up. So I don't want to feel too attached to it. Like I spent a lot of money on it if it doesn't look good or if it breaks. I'm just, I'm okay with it. Okay, thank you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> they reminded me to pick up like, okay, yes, two recipes. I was thinking maybe like healthy treat, crock pot, maybe like a fall salad. I don't know, like a yummy drink. I think it would be so fun. Rachel Talbot is somebody that I follow. Oh, laundry hacks for darker clothes. Oh, thank you, my son. He is so cute. <laughs> He's darling. He started first grade this year, so it's been sad for him not to be with me all day. I've missed him so much. Crock pot recipes. So Rachel Talbot, she did um, a fall crock pot recipes video and another fall recipes video. And I loved them so much. And it inspired me. I was like, yes, I want to do this. Maybe a fall get ready with me to a football game. Oh, I love football games. Um, that would be so fun. And crock pot meals. I think a lot of people are saying they do want to see a crock pot meals. Buddy, <laughs> mommy's, mommy's filming. Can you please go watch something or yeah. read? Yeah. Or rest. Thank you, baby. Um, meal ideas. Yes. Okay, good. I think I will do that. I have it planned for the end of the month. So I'll get that up for you guys. Okay. I am getting sidetracked. This is the next Inglot shade I got. This is a number seven, which is a little bit more like a goldy champagne. Yes to crock pot. Okay, guys, this is making me so happy. I love my crock pot. I live for it. Um, oh, see you later. Thanks, Lynette. <laughs> Love meal ideas. Thanks for your feedback. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Your kids are the same way. I know, I told him, I was like, honey, mommy's gonna film for just a few minutes. Are you gonna be okay? He's like, yeah, I'm just gonna organize. <laughs> he's got his little rock collection and he was telling me he's just gonna organize his rocks, but I guess he's done with that now. He's done organizing. So I'll have to get off pretty soon so that we can hang out together <laughs> anyway this is um this is the other shade i got this is 301 and then this one is 450 they look almost completely identical but one of them is matte and the other one is more of a shimmer one of them's more red and one of them's more purple um oh you want me to swatch these yep let's do it i have not even swatched these yet so let's crack into these they're in these little plastic container things you just have to remove and I swatched these in the store but I have not swatched them since I've been home so I got a little bit of makeup I got some sleek I'm going to show that to you guys here in a second but I didn't get a lot guys I spent my money on candy I really did that is no joke good my um, ideas are making you excited for fall okay these are hard to get into. All right, I think I just got into this one. I appreciate the packaging. Like, definitely, ah, definitely well packaged. Like, no one's gonna be getting into your makeup, like swatching it. Um, can't wait to try Sleek. Ah, oh, so, so, so beautiful. The quality on these are amazing. The single shadows were only six euro a piece. All right, here's our matte shade. <laughs> Look at it, it is so, so, so pigmented. Oh my gosh. That is incredible. Holy cow, guys. This again was 301. I think you can get these online, but there's that one. I have my little wet wipes with me so I can not make too big of a mess of myself. Okay, now let's swatch this one, which is going to be shade 450. And Guys, my birthday's on Sunday, so my birthday's on the 10th, and I think I'm gonna do some fall shopping then too. I'll probably get some more makeup and some more candles. Whenever it gets fall, I want new eyeshadow. Are any of you like this? I am like, okay, where are the fall palettes? Where are the fall singles? 
um, I just am craving new eyeshadows in the fall. So I always get excited because my birthday is always right at the beginning of fall. So I get to like dive into all these colors. Yay, September babies, Jennifer. I know I'm getting to the point though, where I'm like, Oh, is it my birthday again? <laughs> oh shoot. <laughs> Time's going by guys. There's nothing we can do. Okay. 450. This one is the little bit more plummy shade. Oh, 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 that is so pretty. Okay. So what I'm noticing is that they look a ton more similar in the pan, but then once you actually swatch the shades, they are quite different. <sighs> Those are so gorgeous. Okay, thank you for the early birthday wishes. Um, oh, happy first birthday, Catherine, to your little girl. Okay, so these are gonna be so pretty together. I just feel it. Do you know what? These are actually reminding me of the ColourPop. Sorry, if you guys aren't interested in makeup, sorry, I'm kind of spending a little while on this. It's just taking me forever to open these. All right, so here is shade number 07, a little bit more of a champagne color. Yes, a little champagne gold. Oh my gosh. These are so buttery. Like, ah, uh, they feel incredible, like a high end shadow. They do not kick up at all. Like, there is no fallout. This one actually feels a little bit more like a ColourPop shadow to me, like a cream, cream to powder. But that's what they look like. Holy cow. Do you guys want to see me do a look with these? That is my question. Now I'm gonna set these carefully back here so I don't destroy them during this video. But do you wanna see a video? Um, you are so sweet. You have been watching me for the longest and I never age. You are so sweet. I have been on YouTube a little while. Okay, um, my, your skin is pale. What do you recommend? Like for bronzer, um, Jax, I am wondering, are you wondering for like bronzer or foundation? Cause I'm pale too, <laughs> obviously. So I have a couple recommendations for both. All right. So those were the Inglot shadows. And then I have been wanting to get my hands on the sleek, super shiny packaging. I'm going to blind you guys. I'm sorry, but this is their highlight palette. I did decide to grab this in boots. That is a store that I have been wanting to go into for years and years. Finally made it into one. The one in Cork was my favorite. If you guys ever make it over to Ireland or if you live there, Cork has the best boots. <laughs> it was like a two story building. It was amaz amazing. Okay, so foundation. Um, I really like the color selection on the Revlon Color Stay. I feel like they have a good selection for both oilers, oilier skins and drier skins. So I do the combination oily in the shade 180 and I'm a cool undertone. And then the butter bronzers are my favorite. They're not orange at all. They're a little bit more um, taupey. So they work beautifully if your skin is a little bit more pale and the formulation on those is not chalky. It's very, very silky. So those are my recommendations. You're headed to Paris in the spring. So excited to shop for makeup. Not sure what to buy. You will be inspired when you get there. Um, every year just adds to your fancy. <laughs> I love that. Butter bronzer is your favorite too, Christina. Yeah, it's so good. So anyway, this is the um, highlight palette. There's one cream and then a few, three actual powders. Here are the powders. Look at those. They're insane. Oh my gosh. And really pink, really yellow. So I just mix them. So you can obviously see like purple, more peachy, pink, and then more yellow. And then here is the cream. So beautiful. Okay. Hi from Pennsylvania. Hello. Then I had to grab again from Sleek their, um, what are these called? The Eye Divine palettes. I have a couple of them already, but this is the other one I grabbed. Oh my gosh, it's so good if you like neutrals. This one's called All Night Long. Look at those shadows. Look at this one. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. Oh, geez, guys. The quality of these are so insanely pigmented. Again, a very affordable brand that I do not see in the United States, which breaks my heart because they're so good. So I can do a look for you guys if you want with the sleek palette um, and then those Inglot shadows. And then, oh, I ran into, this is just another little bonus benefit. We're almost done with the makeup guys, but I really wanted to show this to you. Some of you might not know that my channel completely started out as makeup. I transitioned it recently, like maybe six or seven months ago. 
and started doing lifestyle and cleaning and I got some new followers. What? Sleek is available at Ulta? Okay. My Ulta doesn't carry it. I was actually there yesterday, which is where I grabbed this. So I'm going to have to keep checking around. That is awesome. I love everything I've tried from Sleek. So they redid their Benefit Erase Paste, which is something I talked about a long time ago when I first started my channel, but they reformulated it. It's a lot harder now and just for your under eyes, which I struggle with. So I grabbed that. Look at this packaging. It is so, so cute. And then I had to grab... Um, here in LA, Sleek is at Ulta. That's incredible. When I go home to visit my parents there in Southern California, um, I can look for it. So this is the Melting Pout by CoverGirl. This just spoke to me because it looks like fall. This one, I haven't even swatched. I literally bought this 30 minutes ago. Don't be jelly is the name of this one. It's like a purpley shade. Oh, oh. <laughs> you guys, that is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. The quality, the pigmentation. I've, I've tried a couple of these shades already. So delicious, like completely juicy, which is my absolute favorite. So there's like a thicker swatch and then a little bit lighter. You guys, this is good. This is shade 130. What was it again? Don't be jelly. And this is again, the Melting Pout by CoverGirl. Um, I need to come to LA. Oh, you guys. I could do a meetup in LA. I come to Southern California actually quite often just because my parents are there. So I don't know where most of my followers are. So it's hard to know, but I feel like a meetup at this point would be really, really fun. Even if just a couple of you could come and we could, I like what Coffee Break with Danny does. She does um, oh, online at Ulta. Got it. Thank you so much. Come to New Jersey, Las Vegas. Um, yeah, there's some really, really fun ideas I've had for a meetup. Like maybe we could do a shopping, like shop with me, literally <laughs> shop with me in Sephora. We could do like a little lunch meetup, like co coffee break with Danny does. Um, what part of LA would I come to? Probably San Diego. But to be honest, I have a friend, a YouTube friend who lives in LA. So we could do like a joint meetup, which would be really fun. Tara, War Paint with Tara Michelle. That would be really, 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 really fun. She has an amazing beauty channel. Oh, I forgot to show you. I got this little bracelet too at um, a little shop in Ireland. I really wanted to bring back a bracelet. That was like what I was on the hunt for. So I thought that was so cute. Anyway, um, yeah, a meetup would be really, really fun. I would love to do it with another person, not just me. Oh, I have to show you these guys. I forgot. I got these for four euro. You love Tara Michelle Jennifer? I know she's so what a beautiful soul. Anyway, these are four euro. They were 17 euro on the price tag and then they rang up for four and I was like, okay, I'll take those. <laughs> anyway, cute, huh? I ruined my sunglasses, so I needed some new ones. I thought these were so darling. You guys, that's all I got. I didn't get that much. I did get a little, little makeup, couple accessories, tons of, tons of candy. Yes, I've been eating it. I've been loving it. I have not regretted it. I have not hopped on the scale though. <laughs> so I might regret it later after I do that. Come to Massachusetts. Hi from Salt Lake. Um, yes. If you haven't heard of um, Tara Michelle, go ahead and look her up. She is, she is a lot like me in the sense that she is extremely outgoing, um, very chatty, which I know I am too. So she's like your girlfriend. Like you're sitting there watching and you're like, we're just in the same room. Like you feel so at home with her. So that's one thing I love about her. And she has a completely different complexion. She has dark hair, very tan skin. So if you're looking for somebody not pale, <laughs> then she's also a good resource. Um, yeah, she's really good. If she's like you, then you will love her. That's sweet. You guys are so sweet. Have your kids started school yet? I um, have Evan starting school. He just started first grade and it's been a hard transition. I actually feel like I miss him a lot. Personally, I sobbed his first day of school. Um, and he's having a hard time. Like the day is really long. So I was thinking about making a couple videos, maybe related to back to school. I know it's kind of late for that, but maybe like what to pack in a lunch box because that has been one of my biggest struggles. What do I feed this guy? Like I want, I don't want him to be too hungry. So that's one other idea I had was something like related to maybe a homework station or sorry, I, I'm jumping all around. I know. <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, Sharon is asking if I'm going to homeschool. No, not yet. I don't know if, um, if I ever will, my husband is quite against it. So I just, I can't, you know, that's too much conflict. And I, I just don't feel like that's something I want to push, especially right now. I just, I don't know. I feel like he's doing okay in school. Evan is, and I want him to have the social experience, but I might homeschool at one point. Um, you're so sweet. Oh, you're turning 22. Happy birthday. That is awesome. I remember turning 22. That feels like it was one second ago. It also feels like it was another lifetime. Do you guys feel like that about your age? Like when you think back to your memories, like in high school, you're like, literally that was yesterday, but it was also another life. Like I feel so weird as time goes by and I look back, I'm just like, wow, time is such a weird thing. <laughs> I don't know, especially as I get older and have more life experience and more memories in my memory bank. I'm like, oh my gosh, my life is just going by. It's just too weird. Um, your kids were homeschooled and now in public school and they're doing great. That is very interesting. And my experience is that I was personally homeschooled and then became a public school teacher. So I have sort of some interesting, um, I don't know, a little bit of an interesting perspective, I guess, or a little bit of an interesting, sorry guys, I'm sweating so bad. I have a little bit of both in my experience. I've got the homeschool and the public school. So I have both, but I, I am, oh, you were homeschooled too? Okay, how was it second generation homeschool? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like if I was homeschooled and then I homeschool, is that just too much homeschool? Like it's too much? I don't know, but then I have the public school credentials. I don't know guys. It's something I think about constantly though. I am going to have to get off here pretty quick because little Evan, um, it needs me. <laughs> I feel bad abandoning him. I thought he was going to like be organizing, but he's done. You have homeschooled since kindergarten and somebody just started their first freshman year. That's so awesome. Like your mother-in-law was a public school teacher and homeschooled her kids. Yeah, that would be me. Like the public school teacher homeschooling. It'd be really cool. It'd be an awesome experience for me. Um, I love teaching. It's like my favorite thing. It's one of the reasons I started my channel is because I'm like, I just want to show people how to do things. <laughs> Not that I'm very good at any one particular thing that I do on my channel. Um, but I really enjoy that like process where we're talking about how to do things. Um, oh, have a great day, Stacy. Thank you. I'll tell Evan that you hope he feels better. That's very sweet. Um, I taught, Catherine's asking, what did I teach? I taught first grade and third grade. Um, yeah, I just finished college. That was, college is one of my favorite memories of my whole life. Um, yay. Thank you, Christina. I'm glad you were able to watch. Yeah, you guys, I'm going to get off of here, but please, before we go, if you don't mind, what is the next video you would like to see? Do you want to see a haul? Do you want to see a makeup tutorial using some of the makeup that I got like a fall look? Um, do you want to see me decorating my house? Do you want to see me clean something? What, what would you like to see? Please, please, please. I, I always get out of my groove if I take a little vacation. It's interesting because I'm always excited to come back. Okay, fall makeup, Amber says. I'm always excited to come back, but then I, I'm like, where do I start? <laughs> I feel like I'm starting over. Sony's saying clean. You want to see all of them. Decorate your home, hauls, cleaning, makeup, hauls, makeup tutorials, decorating, cleaning, everything. You guys are sweet. Fall decor. Okay, I'm getting a few of those. Fall decor again. Yeah, I really, I think I'm gonna bust into my bins, like even just the things that I already have and start decorating. I, um, okay, let's go downstairs. You guys ready? I started to decorate just a little tiny bit. Fall makeup, decorating your home, recipes. Yes, another one for recipes. I'm gonna show you really fast before we get off. I just barely started um, my decorating for fall and I'm a Target dollar spot and I got, hi baby. Mommy's almost done. Okay, how do I swish this around? There we go. So I got this cute little fall wooden um, thing. <laughs> it just says fall, I don't know what to call it. Just a little um, decor, I guess. Then this hello fall, how cute is that? So anyway, that has that's where I've begun. That's all I have. It's the only fall I have going on. Otherwise, my house is just plain. 
I've got nothing. All right, guys, that is it. I'm gonna go ahead and hang out with Evan. Thank you so much for feedback. Thank you for joining me. I love these um, live videos. I think it's really, really cool to just be able to interact with you guys. It's one thing that I really love about Snapchat, to be honest. We can just talk to each other. Um, I really like responding to you on there. So if you're not following me, um, if you want to, you can. It's fancy underscore that 84. But I think what I'm going to do is do something fall related for, oh, thanks, Megan. Glad you could join too. I think I'm going to do something fall related for my next one. I'll probably do something with decor. So stay tuned. Um, I'm not sure if I'll get to it this weekend since it is my birthday and I'm going to be celebrating. <laughs> I'll probably be eating some delicious food and just hanging out with my family. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining. I absolutely loved it. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.